Well, I think the referee is saying it was a clash of heads. He, he indicated it was, and I believe he said that to the judges. So if they would go to the scorecards, um, or if they would stop this fight at this juncture, it would go to the scorecards, which would probably produce an RC victory in any case. Well, let's see if RC can continue to do what he's been doing. A lot of damage has been inflicted, both upstairs and downstairs, to Michael Carbajal tonight. And that one just snapped his head back. RC continues to bore in. We're in the 10th round of a scheduled 12-rounder. We'll see if it goes that far. But Michael Carbajal, a lot of blood. He's having to wipe the blood from his eye with his right hand. Oh, there's another exchange inside. RC doing a lot of it damage. And he's throwing real aggressive punches now, Al. He's feeling it. And he's used to going. He's been there 12 he rounds five times in his career. carball has been 12 rounds seven times. So even though he's a youngster, RC has been this limit before. And uh, there are no big surprises here for him, either in terms of conditioning or what to expect emotionally from these championship rounds. He seems almost to have gained some strength as we got past the eight. He's really loading up now. He senses that he knows Carvajal's had a lot of damage. I love tactically what he's doing. I mean, strategically, he's fighting as smart a fight as you could against the Michael Carbajal. Instead of standing there in front of him, even though he's getting the, the better of those exchanges, he still moves around and uses what there is of this ring. This is an impressive young fighter so far in this bout tonight that may have a few flaws, but not that many that no. he's inflicted. He wants very badly to fight Ricardo Lopez, the strawweight champion who is stepping up to junior flyweight. Uh, and uh, he wants badly to fight Ricardo Lopez. He thinks that would be a signature fight for him, and it certainly would be if he could win it. There's a good combination. Now he's swarming inside on Carvajal. Carvajal standing there taking a lot of punishment from the right. Now he's backing up. Carvajal just surviving through that exchange and once again pouncing on him quickly is Arce. And now holding is Michael Carvajal. And he's... Arce's trying to back out of it. We're in the 10th round. Less than 30 seconds left. And it's survival time for Michael Carvajal. couple of good left hooks from Carball. That's a weapon he really hasn't used in this fight enough, I don't think. And his face showing the wear and tear of a, uh, a lot of damage effectively handed out tonight in all kinds of ways from young Jorge Arce. has been an interesting battle from the beginning. We go back to round three, where Arce showed his power and his hand speed and his combination punching against Michael Carbajal. We saw signs earlier of how that would be a problem for Carbajal. Then in round six, here's Carbajal using the counter right hand effectively. And that was the one that sent Arce down in that round. He was able to get up, however, and get back to dominating the action. And here in the eighth round, you see graphic example of how the power and hand speed of Arce was just too much for Michael Carbajal right here at the end of the round. And you can feel the confidence of Arce building. It has built toward the final rounds. We're into the 11th now, and they continue to work on Carbajal furiously in his corner. He's got problems with both eyes. He certainly doesn't have any problem with his heart. He's taken a lot of punishment and showed a lot of the greatness that he once was five, six years ago as he continues to work and try to find a way against a young fighter who took a great shot and bounced right back up in round six. Well, and, and Alan, you went back to a key point in this fight inappropriately. He was nailed with a big right hand, and Carbajal jumped on him after that. So it wasn't that Carbajal didn't try and go after him, and Arce showed lots of poise, 
didn't lose his confidence and was able to get right back into his game plan and fight effectively. Clearly, this is not quite the Michael Carbajal of the past. But I, I will say this for Carbajal. It's been a gutsy effort, and he's shown flashes of his excellence. And Arce has shown great footwork all night, continues the movement. You, you get the feeling, Al, maybe if he wanted to bore in and just start throwing hard punches, he, he could do it, but he knows that he's he's done enough so far, if he has to get a decision, certainly here in the bull ring tonight, that he will do it. Well, and it's also a mistake against Michael Carbajal because we saw in the counter right hand he threw that when you're stationary in front of Carbajal, it's a problem. Chiquita Gonzalez was stationary for their first fight, ended up losing, and then for their, their last two fights, he moved and he won. Blood again trickling down the, the eye of Carbajal, although Ganny and his crew did a very good job of stemming the flow of blood. We're inside a minute and a half left in round 11. Carbajal, oh, nice oh, right, nice right back. Carbajal. Carbajal is on top of him. A big fight at 125 of the 10th, 11th round. And Arce's in big trouble. Arce is out. The fight has been stopped. Wow. A big upset from Michael Carbajal, who hung in and waited for his opportunity. And when he found it, he landed a huge punch. You could feel it all the way across the ring. And Arce was out of his feet, and he was not coming back. The interesting thing is, there was never a knockdown called, and appropriately so by the referee, he was thrown down. But once he stood up, it was obvious to the referee, and, and no complaints from Arce's corner, that he was in trouble. That was a fascinating and appropriate stoppage. And Michael Carbajal, from nowhere, lands the right hand that had done so well for him early in the fight, and hurts Jorge Arce. Wow, and it has silenced this crowd of 15,000 people. Well, we had some liquid libations come in over our shoulder. People are stunned, certainly. Arce stunned, he was fighting a beautiful fight, Al, but you kept saying he was a little bit loose in some of his attitudes and some of his punches, and was being a little bit careless. And as we look at this punch later on, I'm sure that we'll see that Carbajal, the great champion that he is, is someone to be reckoned with if you're going to leave your chin sitting out there like that. Well, and you know, Carbajal hung in and hung in and hung in. And you see him giving advice to this young man. It's the kind of guy Michael Carbajal is. I'm sure he's saying to him, hey, hang in there. You're a good young fighter. You're an excellent young fighter. Don't think this is the end of the line or a problem. As 